Hello everyone, welcome to UK Fat Man. It's a blustery, sometimes sunny, sometimes very windy day, so I hope the sound comes across okay. But you'll see behind me I'm at a, a retail park in East London and I am actually on the site, this entire site, where I am, of one of the world's best, if not the best war films. Um, the best Vietnam film without a doubt and one of my favourite films. So I'm on the site of Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket and it might not look like it, a lot has changed, but this used to be, this entire location where I am now used to be Beckton Gasworks. But now there's a retail park and there is very little left of Beckton Gasworks apart from the tower over there and some other areas where you're not allowed in, it's completely fenced off. I was just speaking to a security guard, really windy, my eyes are watering. Just speaking to a security guard and he said he didn't have the key but if he had added the key he would have let me in and I could have had a wander around because the main, main action of the, uh, what they did, is Krubik, what he did was they were going to knock down Beckton Gasworks and it was built, a lot of the buildings were built in the 30s, they had this 1930s theme or theming or very 30s style and it, apparently it was a German company, a German engineering company that um, built the buildings and they also built the, uh, many of the buildings that were in the Vietnamese city of Hue, which is where the film is set, where the main climactic scenes, the last hour, intense hour of Full Metal Jacket. And they basically blew and shot the gasworks to pieces. And there's been a couple of films filmed there, or were a couple of films. There was uh, a John Wayne film called Brannigan, about this uh, Chicago police officer that comes to London chasing down somebody. They filmed the opening sequence to For Your Eyes Only, James Bond film with Roger Moore, where if you've ever seen it, Roger Moore's in a helicopter and they, um, they uh, Blowfield, the, the bad guy, takes control of the helicopter remotely and starts flying the helicopter and uh, Bond eventually um, Bond eventually picks him up on his wheelchair and uh, and his motorised wheelchair and drops him down a chimney um, and again that opening sequence to For Your Eyes Only was filmed at Beckton Gasworks as well so as you can see there's not a lot to see in terms of so what I thought I'd do is just come down and see if I can just find anything, really, that kind of points to the, the existence of the gasworks being here. Um, there is a building way off in the distance, see if you can see it. I don't know, it's all in a, a business estate. But way off in the distance there, there's the top of a, top of a building there. I'm definitely seen in the definitely seen in the film, and I've definitely seen you definitely see in the film the gas towers, these big towers. So we'll take a little wander over there and see if we can uh, find any evidence of the uh, of the film. And also Oasis, Manchester, Manchester band Oasis filmed a video there. Um, at Beckton Gasworks, not long after I think the uh, film had been finished for the Full Metal Jacket. Do you know what I mean? So now I'm on the other side of the road and there's that, there's that big gas tower there and it's all overgrown and it absolutely stinks around here. They uh, created, just up the road, if you went north, um, probably about half a mile, there's a place called Beckton Alps, which was um, a dry ski slope back in the oh, 
late 80s. I think it closed down in the 90s. I, I, it was actually in existence when I, when I lived in East Ham. And uh, basically it was created with tens and tens of thousands of toxic waste from this site. And uh, I took a drive down there earlier before I came here and you, could, you can't get in. You can't get in anywhere close to it. But I was wondering if I might be able to find some, I don't know, evidence of filming, how exciting it would be just to find some, a little bit of memorabilia. It's just all tat round here. Apparently there's a lot of, quite a few problems with squatters in the coat coming into the site the security guard was telling me. What they did is they transported or they imported, I think, I think it was something like 10,000, 10,000 palm trees to recreate the town of Hui. And they used, there was, in the, in the final climatic scenes, in the final battle, when they're getting attacked by snipers, there was three, Really big buildings. I know they were right on the uh, edge of the Thames. The Thames River's just probably a quarter of a mile that way. So there's these three massive buildings, these 30 style, 1930 style buildings over there, just over there. And uh, this bit here, that's definitely, that bit there is definitely the Definitely in the film. But all the other buildings have just been raised down to the ground. See so a huge amount of development, housing development. You've also got the termination of the Docklands Light Railway. That railway takes you all the way into the city of London, which you can just see. I think some of the skys skyscrapers off in the distance. So the Docklands Light Railway ends here in Beckton and uh, goes all the way into the city of London. But yeah, I thought, just take a little wonder and see if I can, see if I could find anything. But you can use, just as I say, it's, it's all overgrown or it's all been redeveloped. There's quite a few business parks around here. And I did take a drive over that way because I thought that might be, I might have been able to get closer to that, that building, which I'm pretty sure. It's a building from, from the film. A bit of wasteland here. But as I said, the uh, Oasis did their video here. Do you know what I mean video? Flying helicopters. And Brannigan was filmed. And apparently, but I can't remember the scene. Another one of my favorite films, a scene from my, one of my favorite films called Empire of the Sun. Another war film, Second World War film. The Japanese, concentration camp or part of the concentration camp from Empire of the Sun was filmed somewhere around here. Not LA, that's for sure, not Hollywood, but just a little, si a little slice, a tiny little slice of movie trivia. And it's, still, I don't know, it's nice, nice to get out and about and have a little walk around. It's just a shame there's nothing nothing left. 